everybody. How are we doing tonight, folks? All right, so let me get everything ready here. So it looks like SV Game Use, guys, is close to filled. If not filled, I gotta double check it all. So it looks like the last spot is close to getting checked out or getting checked out. Tickle the good spot. Put your like this way <laughs> deliberately doing 70 watches on yeah I cannot wait to see if he does end up crushing that number wouldn't that be amazing All right, 640 is going to be the first break that I'm going to do the randoms for. That was, yeah, that was a weird game, honestly. Samsonov looked like utter garbage, to be completely honest. Make sure we do. Yeah, like unless obviously something drastic happens, right? I don't even, like, I, I'm guessing Florida would have to lose their last three games. Toronto would have to win their last three games. Toronto have to win their last three games. All right, 640. Good luck. 
21,640, three times, one, two, three, one, two, three, All right, I'll be back. All right, so Mike, what is your call for the Saturday game? Honest call. Will Matthews get 70 with Detroit? Will he get one goal and then they're going to give him one shot to play? What do you think? Here we go, 21,640. We've got the SP game use seven boxer. There we go. I'm liking these seven box breaks. Again, we're trying to post bigger breaks for you guys. Bigger breaks, more fun. Oh, I did not miss uh, how tough these packs were to open. They did a much better job this year on that. We start off to 9.99 for Minnesota Beckman. We've got number to 205, Larkin, for the Red Wings. Larkin. We've got, oh, I thought it was Matthews, but embroidered in history, Wayne Simmons. For the Leafs. Wayne Simmons. I will say, Michael, wouldn't that be funny, though, eh? We got a Legends jersey of Koivu. He gets 60 against Detroit, a milestone one, and then he's going to, a couple years later, follow it up with a potential 70. That would just be comical. We got a rookie jersey for Vegas of Lecician. And we've got a Purity number to 150 of Debrinkat for the Hawks. Alex Debrinkat. So my, my gut is telling me, like, I think he's going to go balls to the wall on trying, obviously, but I do think he's going to get one. I don't think he's going to get two. I would absolutely love it if he could, but my gut's telling me one against Detroit. Nine ninety nine Damani for Dallas. We've got an authentic rookie's. So, hey, men, for Boston. Boston Bruins, Swayman. These are nice, and some of them are really rare. Frameworks, Panarin. For the Rangers, Artemi Panarin. We've got a rookie patch for the Vegas Golden Knights, number 25, Lecician. Position number to twenty five. We've got a banner year of Carter Hart for Philly. I also couldn't remember, Michael. Did he get two against Detroit to get to sixty, or is it only one he needed for Philly? And a banner year of Brock Nelson for the Islanders. 
That was one thing I couldn't remember. I, I for some reason I thought it was two. Yeah, I thought it was two, but I don't know. We've got a nine ninety nine for San Jose of Weatherby. We've got a number to two oh five Protas. Protas. Sick draft day marks auto of radish for Tampa. And I can't remember. I kind of tuned off on it. Did Kucherov get the 100 last night? Draft day marks. The 35 for Tampa. We've got a rookie jersey of Kelly for the Sens. And we got another purity number to 150 of Quinn Hughes for Vancouver. To 150. I know I can look it up realistically. It's just, A, it's conversation on here. And I can look it up after, but I just can't remember. I, don't, I, I can't remember what he was at before, but I know he had some points, and then uh, I kind of tuned off. He didn't get to 100. What's he at now? Yeah, I was curious if he did, if that would aggravate McDavid a little bit, that he wasn't the first recent guy to do it. 999, Paterka. 98. Wow. Uh, do Oilers or Tampa play tonight? 205, Dustin Brown for LA. We've got for the Vegas Golden Knights having a strong break. Autograph of Logan Thompson. Logan Thompson. We've got for the Penguins. Embroidered in history, Yarmer Yager. Oilers do. All right, so McDavid theoretically should. Yager. We've got for the Devils, fabrics of Bernie Nichols. Banner year for the Islanders of Sorokin. And a banner year for the Winnipeg Jets of Shifley. Against Arizona? Yeah. I, I think by all accounts, that means he should. <laughs> now, is he playing, though? That's the other big thing. He's obviously, he missed the last game, so it's not a... I don't know. Have they announced if he's playing yet? God, I hated these packs back in the day. We've got number to 999 per Fetty for the Jets. We've got a 999 Jarvis. You have Anaheim? All right, something's going to come up soon. What do we got? Three more to go? Two more to go? For the Rangers! They got. I always love this one. Embroidered in history, Eddie the Eagle. Mark Messier. Embroidered in history, Mark Messier, known as Eddie the Eagle. <laughs> For the Anaheim Ducks, embroidered giraffe picks, Z Gris. There we go. Ask and you shall receive. Embroidered draft picks. Zegris. That's a rookie draft picks too. For LA, Dustin Brown. Base jersey. And we got a purity of Pacioretty. For Vegas. And my gosh, did anyone see it coming that Mark Stone is skating again? I am so Stunned by that news. I don't think 
anybody even thought there was a chance that he would be ready for the playoffs. We've got for Ottawa, Parker Kelly. It is just amazing, the timing on that. Parker Kelly, 9.99. For the Dallas Stars, Klangberg. 205. For the Capitals, Pilon, rookie auto. Washington Capitals. For the Chicago Blackhawks, banner year of Patty Kane. For the Vegas Golden Knights, I feel like they're hitting every pack. Mark Stone, speaking of. We've got an embroidered, I love this one, Huggy Bear, Quinn Hughes, Vancouver. And we've got a banner year, Paul URV for the Oilers. Had a lot of embroiders in this one. The Embroidered in Vegas show. Which one are we going to get in this one? An Embroidered or a Vegas card? The money line is out. Start off for the Blues, $9.99, Puranovich. For the Anaheim Ducks, the 205 Gibson base. John Gibson. For the LA Kings, a rookie auto Kupari. Kupari. For the Oilers, I always love this photo, Grant Fuhr. To see a goalie in like a player gear is just awesome. Grant Fuhr. For the Flyers, Sean Couturier. Philadelphia. And for the Boston Bruins, banner year, Brad Marchand. There she goes. Well, so-so break overall, not crazy. I don't think we hit anything monstrous, sadly, but. And by the way, and this goes out to you, uh, not sure, Michael, if you even remotely care about other sports, but that Prism Basketball, a very high-end basketball, is now down to three left. So if we can get a couple people chipping away at that one, that one should be good to go tonight, potentially. And I would love to see it go, to be honest. And if you guys want to get that break versus break for the diamond box, the first one is down to six. I would love to get the first one done so we can move on uh, and see if uh, the second one's going to beat it and which breaks when you get the diamond box. We also have six left in the retail, seven left in the two box series one, uh, 10 in the diamond. So if you guys want to grab some spots in the other breaks, that would be great. Said so I think that uh, break versus break one is going to be the first or easiest one filled, to be honest. Do we even have the one here? I don't think we grabbed that one. I'm going to go grab that SP Blaster Series 2 Blaster Tour 122.
just gotta grab the clear coat, but I can do it next time I'm out. So that's the first one. Uh, Jawa, yeah, we normally do that. Obviously, it is completely up to you whether you would also like to uh, have it expedited or not. So that's the only other thing. If you want it with your regular group break hits, no problem. If you want it expedited, then obviously, depending on what the card is, I do recommend that. So guys, let's get that first break, first break going. Only a few extra spots left to go. We can get the first one under our belts and see what kind of competition the second one has. Because that has only six spots left to go. So there is zero point of waiting on that one. And the chancer is at 13 left, by the way. How about this, as I did this a few nights ago, and uh, again, I always like benefiting you guys. How about this? The Chancer and the Diamond Break, if we fill those in the next, I'll give you guys a 545. So 545, three overtime packs will be given away in each of those. So the Chancer and the Diamond, so 623 and 649. So I think that's a pretty uh, simple one to get going. Six, two, three, and six, four, nine. Dun, 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 dun. Again, I am doing my best to always offer you guys the best possible deals and add-ons. And 649 is only $15 and the break versus break. One of those two breaks is going to win a $500 plus box. Think about that guys, a $39 break is going to get a $500 hundred dollar box I feel like we do so many giveaways that people almost forget how big that honestly is like somebody for thirty nine dollars is gonna walk away with a five hundred dollar box and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be five hundred plus taxes so you're close to six hundred dollars a lot of money guys So it looks like it's down to nine and four. Nine and four. There we go. That's uh, eight and four now. A couple more spots confirmed on each of those. Yep. Three more there, two more there. So eight spots, four spots, guys. Eight spots, three spots. Again, see how quickly we can get this going? It's always what I've been trying to tell you guys. I think this is a lot easier than you guys think it is.
Eight left and two left. I'm a liking that, guys. And remember, guys, the chance is only 15 bucks, so that is uh, another easy way to get a free spot in that one. So eight left in that one, two left in the diamond. And the good news is you guys have tons of time. So if we fill these two uh, early, guys, I will then move on to two other break targets for you guys. You guys know how I like doing that for you. But again, eight left in the Chancer, 15 bucks, that's it. Diamond is two left. So, eight and two. We had a really good run down, guys. I would like to keep it going. Finish off uh, one or two more. Eight left, two left. We are close. So very close. And then I will target two other breaks. So realistically, guys, it is worth getting into the other breaks right now, just in case, because I am going to be targeting other breaks. So once these two fill, I will let you guys know the next two. Eight and two. I'm gonna go grab the clear cut so that way I can get everything organized for you guys. Looks like another diamond spot went. Sweet. And it might be the chance, or it might be the first one. That's kind of funny. And as always, guys, I always do the top three will get it. Just so you guys know how it's going to go. So when you see the random, top three. It looks like someone might be taking all the spots in the Chancer, so that would be uh, sold out. Do, do, do. Do, do. So that would be good news if that is true. Just waiting, ladies and gentlemen. Waiting for the 
response. To go. And if they don't go, no big deal. If they do go, great. Again, looks like someone's checking out, but uh, I guess we'll figure it out. Looks like it's filled. Sweetness. D. Garwood, I agree, yeah. I think we're getting pretty damn close to it now, so I'd like to see it go. Good luck, 649. Here we go. Twenty-one, twenty-one thousand six hundred and forty-nine. I don't even have the random ready, so give me one second. I am just going to quickly open up this. Do, 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 do. There we go. Three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. So George and George gets the extended and the spot. Well, there you go. Nice and simple. I don't know if all those were the last spots taken for you, but wow, congrats. That would be quite amazing if they were. That was all yours at the end. That is too funny. See, <laughs> Dan, <laughs> that car parked there. What's that? That one? No, the one parked. The little car straight ahead. Dude, 
with the card right in front of the, the window. Right there. The red car, brown car. How are you that blind? It's parked there. They've been there for 20 minutes. Yes. I don't know how that guy, he's so blind. This guy, I tell you. This guy, I tell you. Uh, no, so Michael, the way it works is the break with the highest is going to win. And then we will random that break. And then one person in that break will win. So not the person who gets it. But we are still two away, by the way, guys. So if you guys would like to get that one going. No, we have a, we have a dance studio next to us. That is absolutely mind-blowingly annoying in terms of parking. And they always take up all the parking in front of our store. And oftentimes will literally park like sideways and block off other cars because, you know, why not, right? It is beyond super annoying. And no matter how many times we tell them this stuff, they just don't listen. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I will give you guys a link to the basketball. It is a high-end prism break. I would love to see that one go. It's been up there for a little while, we can say. But I would love to see it go. So so once again, guys, in the break versus break, just to be adamantly clear, the way it's going to work is I'm going to open up the entire break. The highest serial number and the first part of the serial number in both breaks will have the winning break. So if the first break, for example, the biggest card is number 222 out of 599, and the second break has a card 297, out of 299, the 297 is higher than 222, thus break number two will get the bonus box. So ideally what you're hoping for in this break is to have a very high first serial number. That is what you guys are all hoping in break number one, which is what I'm about to do in about uh, 30 seconds, the random of course. So that is what you guys are honestly aiming for. All right, and just to be clear, guys, because uh, I said I was going to give you guys two other targets, so why not? Um, I will make it, because they're smaller breaks, guys, I will make it two overtime packs for number 648, which is the retail break. Again, there's only six left. And 646, a series two or series one, two box break. Again, only six left. So 648, 646, two overtime packs, and that one. Just to be clear, two. And again, every single time we fill these, I'm going to keep doing new ones. Best of luck. Oh, I got to change this. There we go, best of luck. 21,623, three times, one, two, three. One, two, three. There you go, we'll do the break shortly. Oh, she's back in. She's back. <laughs> All right, 
So yeah, everyone in this break, you guys should be absolutely hoping for the highest first serial number. And realistically, think about it this way, guys. If, by some chance, it is not very good, that means the odds for break number two pretty much getting a box will be very, very high. So keep that in mind, guys, when you're uh, looking at that. All right, good luck. We want serial numbers, guys, so here we go. Starting off, CNC break 21,623. We've got the blaster. I'll do the blaster first. The stuff that won't have serial numbers. And then I'll move into the stuff that will. So that way we can uh, have some fun with that. We got a marquee rookie for San Jose of Gadovich. Dazzlers for the Avalanche of Rontanen. Young Guns of Longfist for the Rangers. Portrait of Neighbors for the Blues. Marky Rookie Purple Border of Hardmen for the Hawks. And we got a San Jose portrait of Eklund. And remember guys, even the SP Blaster will have something. So uh, Platinum might, but obviously the odds are probably not, but Platinum might have one. So it could start here. We've got a marquee rookie of Gruel for the Ducks. Retro of Hellebuck for the Jets. Photo driven to Brinkett for the Hawks. Comtois Rainbow for the Ducks. Allison for the Flyers rookie. And a Domi for the Blue Jackets tracks. What are Domi's going to sign for next year? How much? Marky rookie of Perfetti for the Jets. Marky, rookie of Jones for the Rangers, and a Keen for the Canes, Yellow Surge. I think I called the first one a taxi, but it's a Yellow Surge. I keep changing the names. Die Cut, Lafreniere for the Rangers, Mercer for the Devil's Sunset, Eklund for the Sharks, Marky, rookie. Michael, if you're still in the room, how many goals did, uh, what was the GAA or whatever for, uh, Samsonov. Kate for Philly. Yellow surge for the Coyotes of Chitron. So no number there. But I don't think they had many shots. Unless, I didn't catch most of the third period. But like, I'll do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do extended hobby. Because the chances of a number card in there is rare. Whereas the SP Blaster is more common. So... Like, how many shots? I, like, I feel like he probably only had, like, 25 shots and then, like, six goals. Not a good performance right before playoffs. Not gonna lie. Doesn't make me feel too confident. Young Guns for Ottawa of Zub. We've got a French variant for Anaheim of Comtois. Ultimate victory for Dallas of Pavelski. Reflection for Florida Barkov. Young Guns for L.A. of Holtz. Young Guns for Vegas, Bischoff. Tribute of Rontanen for the Avs. All 
ultimate victory for Buffalo of Cousins. Make sure you talk, eh? Holographics for Minnesota Kaprizov. Young Guns for the Coyotes. Bunting. Goudreau. Finite for Calgary. We got a rookie class for Winnipeg of Logan Stanley. Dazzlers for the Avalanche of Rontanen. We've got a Lafreniere for the Rangers ovation. Which young gun are we talking about, guys? Hillis, young guns for Montreal. Tribute, young guns, Mitchell for the Hawks. Tribute for the New Jersey Devils of Hughes. Point seven. Wow. Rough. <laughs> uh, McDavid. Ultimate victory for the Oilers. Base. Six goals on 20 shots. Yuck. NHL best for Carolina of Aho. Logan Stanley for the Jets. Rookie class for the Islanders of Bellows. And I also forgot something, guys, so give me one second. Ultimate victory of McMichael for the Caps. And it is quite important. Oh, Domi. Wow. And we got a tribute of Aho for Carolina. Forgot the finites are numbered. Uh, that goes there. So I'm going to look at the finite because that is going to be hopefully a high number for you guys. All right. Not bad number. It's got a lot of room for improvement, but 2267. 2267. It's a good number, but there is still room. 2267. We start off with the winning materials of Fox. I don't think there's anything that high in here, so it's almost irrelevant. And we've got number 116 of 299, Makar, for the abs. Super scripts, Brock Besser, for Vancouver. We've got a shadow box of Barry Boulay. For Tampa Bay. Mary Boulay. Mary Boulay. And we've got number 99, Ronta, for the abs. So 2267. Just got to remember that one. 2267. This one could beat it. This one has a lot of high numbered things. I think the highest in this one's. 3,000, if I remember. I believe. I believe. Start off with a uh, Hawk and Paw Blue for the Ducks and a Profiles to 999 of Kane for the Hawks. Well, that's a lower number than I was hoping for. We've got a Joseph for the Penguins. And we've got number 1299, but it's only 514 for the Hawks of Pui Suter. Again, I was hoping for a higher numbered one for you guys, but 
We've got a rookie blue, a foot for Tampa, and a Hopkins blue for the Oilers. We got a blue of Krebs for Vegas and a hurdle for the Sharks. Blue of Heponiemi for Florida and a Gensel for the Penguins blue. Blue of Zuccarello for Minnesota and a Kiv Lennox blue for the Blue Jackets. Blue of Yandel for Florida, Schmalewski blue for the Sharks. And a blue of Oyo Levy for Vancouver and a Darlene for Buffalo Sabres. A Domi for eight dollars. It is sad. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not. I'm not saying he's a mind-blowingly good guy, but eight dollars, man. I feel like he's worth a little more than eight. Like, he has, like, one-third the points of McDavid, so, like, he should be worth, worth one-third of his young gun. Like, come on. Someone's going to take that seriously after here, and then be like, what the heck? Olafson, black rainbow for Buffalo. We got a Stamkos orange slice for Tampa. A quartz for Montreal of Caulfield. And an uh, Allison rookie for Philly. Bull, uh, or sorry, red, orange for Ottawa of Kachuk, iced out for Tampa of Braden Point, and a rookie of Yannick for the Coyotes. We've got a yellow, green of Phillips for Calgary, and a rookie of Lazinski for Philly. Red, rainbow of Carter Hart for Philly, bread baskets for Anaheim of Gibson, and a rookie of Samuelson for Buffalo. We got a black rainbow Caprizo for Minnesota. Hustle hit never quit. Duncan Keith for the Oilers. And a rookie of Lapierre for the Caps. We've got a black rainbow of Drysdale for the Ducks. We got a yellow orange of Pod Colson, or red orange for the Vancouver Canucks. And a Uka Pekka Lukanen autograph. Rookie auto for Buffalo. I wish the math worked like that. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> we got a red rainbow of Barry Boulay for Tampa. Lucan in for Buffalo uh, control room. And a rookie of Swayman for Boston. We've got a quartz number to 99 of Pilon for the Caps. And a rookie of Pinto for Ottawa. All right, next and last. Is a champs auto Cam Atkinson for Philadelphia. There we go. All right, well, 2267 is the number. Again, a very beatable number considering it's it's up there it's up there but it ain't the highest So, by the way, guys, we had a Prism Hobby spot get taken.
guys are just updating all the payments. All right, so guys, you have another, I'm gonna give you guys 14 minutes for 648 and 646 to get the extra overtime packs. 648, 646. There is literally, it is super affordable and cheap. And I think it should not be a problem to get them going. And you know what guys, I'll even do three for this one just because it's been sitting so long. The prism is getting very, very close and I would love to see that one go. So if anybody wants to uh, dive into that one, that would be an easier one to get it in. Again, the uh, retail break and the series one hobby two box break are close. Buy another spot, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And by the way, we also put up a, a Revolution two box break. So we do have a new Basketball Revolution and a new Prism Fast Break, which is a lot cheaper too. So there is two spots left, guys. That is all. Let's get her going and finished off. Reminder guys in 646 and 648. If we fill them, top three or sorry, top two people get an overtime pack. Why not capitalize on the extras on such a honestly pretty cheap break? So up to you guys. But in my opinion, capitalize. And Prism is down to two. Two guys. So, uh, Gord, sorry, I was going to call you Lisa, see? Gord, there was someone checking out while you were checking out, and then they dropped their spot. does happen, as I said, unfortunately. It happens uh, quite a bit. So five left, five left, guys. Does anybody want to finish that off? In those two and the prism. Prism. We are close. So very close to it. Even the five ones. There we go. Four left and six, four, six. 
four to go in that one now. That spot went through officially on the 646. Oh, looks like two spots are in the 646 went through. Nice. So that is great news. 646. And the prism is presuming the spots actually get checked out, guys. All of them will be good to go. Presuming all three or whatever it is showing me is good to go. But obviously we gotta wait till checkouts. It's never a done thing till checkouts. But again, six four six, six four eight guys. You guys have ten or eight more minutes to get the deal on that. They're at four and five. So very close. Yeah, four left in six four six. Five left in six four eight. May as well capitalize. We are close, so very close. And another spot for sure just got taken in the prism. So that is guaranteed one down. Yay. Another spot in 646. So it looks like, guys, 646 will be the first one of those to go. Yeah, it looks like two left, so that's good. And then Prism. We're hoping that last spot. It's got two minutes left, but I'm hoping it gets uh, it gets through to the end. That would be phenomenal to finally do that one. Finally, the prison box will be opened. There's my uh, WWE. But again, guys, let's get the other ones going. You got five minutes left for that deal. Two and five left. I think we can get those uh, going no problem. Two and five. And then hopefully a few more breaks are going to be lined up. That'll be beautiful. All right, guys, so that Prism one did not go through. So if anyone wants to clean that one up, that is the official last spot in there, which is beautiful. B-E-A-utiful. Cannot wait to open it up, and I'm hoping there's going to be an absolute absolute monster in there and that would be very comical that this break would take that long if there was a 
monster in there. But we'll see, I guess, right? So, and you want to officially finish off the prism. Prismism. Prizzle dizzle. buy one prism if someone takes the last spot. What do you mean the one prism that is the last spot? There is only one more prism. There is literally only one prism spot. Unless you're talking about the other prism. show two yeah no on mine it shows one and uh, and then we should be done is that the uh, last of the 20,000 breaks too finally we've, uh, we've we've finalized that one or is there one more I think no that's the last of the 20,000 it has survived it has survived So guys, the other two breaks I'm gonna have fun with you guys uh, to attack will be 624 and 614, the clear cut and the diamond. So clear cut case and the diamond are gonna be the next two we're gonna have some fun with. I'm hoping you guys wanna get those going. But the good news is I said that prism should be good to go. So I'm gonna get the random ready for that. Uh, well, Floor Prism is regard. It's hard to say which one is comparable. I, I was going to say Platinum, but it's, it's way higher end than Platinum. Um, you want low numbered colors of big rookies, and that's where the rookie content is just monstrous. So, 21 22, if you get any of the big rookies low numbered. You are going to do very well with it. Yeah, basketball is a much different animal in terms of uh, in values. It's, it's significantly better. It's more gambling, obviously. Higher priced. Gets checked out. Someone did click on it. I was hoping. Uh, I'm hoping it goes through. We're just waiting on that last uh, checkout, so I apologize, guys. I apologize. But we're getting there. It's gonna go. It's a matter of when.
So, Gord, was that you who did or is doing the checkout or trying to do the checkout? I know you said you purchased it. I was just wondering because it's still ticking on my end. So let me know if you're having any issues. Oh, it looks like it's good. It just got highlighted for me, so you are good. There we go. Woot woot. Finally, it is done. Having problems? No worries. It, it looks like it's good now, so we are rolling. Beautiful, guys. All right, best of luck. Here we go. 20,896. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, those are the teams everyone obviously has. Alright, let's get the show on the road. And what I will do, guys, is those two smaller breaks as well. The, uh, was it, 646648? I will also allow another 15 minutes to get those filled because they are at five. And I think we, if we're at five left, we shouldn't just leave it and not get it done. But, so I'll give you guys another 15 minutes to get those done. Here we go, 20,896. 20, We've got the Prism 21. 22 basketball. All right. I gotta remember how this all. We've got a uh, rookie of Moody for the Warriors, a rookie of Martin Jr. for Houston. We've got a silver of ZZ for the Mavs. Silver, ZZ. We've got a hyper silver of Sharp for the Nets. Hyper Silver. We've got a Fearless for Brooklyn of Harden. And base. Okay. Alright. Rookies of Sharp for Brooklyn. Base. Primo for the Spurs. Silver of Fournier for the Celtics. Ooh, nice. We've got a 75th Donovan Mitchell for the Jazz. I think those are decently rare, if I remember correctly. Might be wrong. It might just be a basic insert, but I thought those were pretty rare. Might be wrong. Wide screen of Zion for the Pelicans. I don't remember opening one of those, so I I feel like it is decently rare, but rare doesn't always equate to selling well. We've got a Todd for the Wizards rookie, Mitchell for the Kings rookie. Our first color variant of Thaddeus Young to 299 for the Spurs. Again, he's pictured in the Bulls, but you can see on the bottom it says Spurs. And on the back it says Spurs. We've got a Donovan Mitchell Prismatic for the Jazz. Rookie of Jackson for the Pacers. Silver of Hardaway Jr. for the Mavs. We've got a Fireworks Silver of Leonard. For the Clippers. Fireworks. 
Our autograph goes to the Houston Rockets. Sensational signatures of Josh Christopher. And that's the Prism variant, just so you know. We get a Prism variant. All right. We've got a rookie of Edwards for the Nets, Brooklyn Nets. Not sure. I think it's like the Wave one. They have like 400 different parallels. We got a hyper silver of Chris Boucher for the Raptors. We've got a hindsight of Harden for the Nets. And base. Oh, 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 base. We've got rookies of uh, Boo Knight for the Hornets. Uh, Garuba for the Rockets. We've got a Butler for the Heat. It's like more of a sparkle one. Butler for the Heat. We've got a TJ Warren 75th anniversary special number to 75 for the Pacers. 75th. Number to 75 for the Pacers. Prismatic of Harden for the Nets. All right. A rookie of Suggs for the Magic. Jones for the Hornets. Thor for the Hornets. Fireworks. Hyper Silver of Trey Young for the Hawks. Trey Young. We've got an autograph for the Pistons of Richard Hamilton. Richard Hamilton. We got five packs to go. Five packs to go. There's a decent amount of stuff in here, though. Silver of Aiton for the Suns. We've got a purple for the Pistons, the 99 of Jackson. Josh Jackson. Hindsight of Kevin Durant for the Nets. Bush. What do I do here? It's upside down or something? Who knows what's going on with this pack? All these upside down cards too. We got a rookie of McBride for the Knicks. Uh, Zagorowski for the Nets. We got a Drew Holiday for the Bucks. The red variant. Drew Holiday. We got a Hyper Silver of Garland for the Cavs. Prismatic of Simmons for Philadelphia. Prismatic. We've got a rookie of Williams for the Grizzlies. Allen Silver for the Cavs. That one might be numbered. Number to 25 for the Timberwolves of Prince. Number 25, Prince. 75 years of the NBA of Fox for the Kings. And we got base, base, base. Uh, Wise Camp for the Spurs, rookie. Wagner for the Magic, rookie. We've got a red of Flynn for the Raptors. Go Raptors. We've got for the Hornets, number to 199, LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball for the Hornets. 
Fireworks of Steph Curry for the Warriors. Ooh. They always win. Except for last year. Is the mellow ball still a thing? I have no idea. I don't watch basketball very often. So I cannot even pretend to know. Uh, for the Bucks, this guy's got a very long name. Uh, we've got a Cunningham for the Pistons rookie. We got a silver rookie of Herbert Jones for the Pelicans. Jones for the Pelicans. Hyper silver of Crowder for the Suns. We've got a Fearless of Zion for New Orleans. There we go. Well, that was fun. All right. Oh, he's been injured? Yeah. I feel like that's got to not be a good thing in, uh, in basketball. Okie dokie, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where we are now. Gentlemen, let's see if you guys want anything else. Give me one second. Let's cut my water. gentlemen five left and four left in those two breaks so does anybody want to finish those off five left and four left in those two breaks again very easy quick to get done only four to go in this one here you guys have an extra four minutes to get a couple overtime packs in those. Why not capitalize on it? And if not, no big a deal. Again, we are literally just four away. And it doesn't look like there's any pendings or anything with those ones, guys. So those four are the last four. For sure. So who else would like to grab a spot and get it going? We just need 
one person to grab one and get it going or two obviously would be better but I will take one And you guys have, again, three minutes to capitalize on that deal. Eight. Well, that's not bad. So again, guys, four to go in that break. It's a two boxer, nice and easy to do. But it needs to get filled next two minutes for the bonus. I will still stick around obviously after in hopes that we can get other stuff done. Very surprised we're just letting that one chill. I, I was gonna say rush. I, I I don't understand. It's funny because like this is before playoffs. A lot of these guys are gonna have some pretty significant spikes, and I would not be surprised. I'm looking at that list right now. I don't know if you're talking. About, I'm presuming you're talking about Jason, but like. Ottinger could get a cup. Even Robertson could get a cup. Obviously. But it is up to you guys whether you guys want to get it going or not. We're getting close, it's only four. And the three years is a 2021, 20, 21, 22, 22, 23. 18 young guns for sure, or at least should get pulled. But that is up to you guys. Anybody? Three left and three, uh, six, four, six. There we go. Looks like someone's grabbing a spot. Looks like two left in that one. I'm liking it. I'm going to go grab that one because I'm going to have faith it's going to go. in that one and just so you guys know I will give you guys the uh, the two packs if it does get filled shortly because obviously I want to make sure you guys are still getting something and are happy if we're gonna miss it by a couple minutes I'm okay with that you know if it was 10 or 15 not really but 
I'm okay with a couple minutes. Dancing. Ah, I love it. That's funny. Yeah, I'll give that one to you. That's a good one. I feel like you might break some stuff, though. I'm not going to lie. That, that could be a deadly, deadly thing. But I like it. It works, and it works well. So six, four, six. Let me get the randos for that ready. No, we, we've done a lot of fun things while opening cards. Breakdancing definitely is not one of them. And I will tell you, I think if, uh, if I were to attempt that, that might have been something like 10 years ago. Not like now. I'll probably like break something. Natural sound can provide the, the sound equipment. I love it. 21,646. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's get this party started. Six forty-six. Here we go. Twenty-one thousand six hundred and forty-six. We've got the two box hockey. And if you guys also want to get the other one going, let me know. Or any other breaks going, let me know. Absolutely more than happy. To get all these going for you. We've got a predominant of Giroux for Philly. Portrait for Boston of Bergeron. Young Guns for the Winnipeg Jets of Burden. Canvas for the Rangers of Zabinijad. Young Guns of Harkins for the Jets. We've got a French variant for the Blue Jacket of Bjork Strand. We've got a portrait for the Washington Capitals of Carlson.
Portrait for Vancouver of Patterson. Young Guns for Dallas of Kivaranta. I was going to say, guys, if we fill the other break, the uh, other diamond one, predominant of Pasternak for Boston, we 100% will give away a box tonight. Someone is going to know tonight who's getting that box. Canvas for Buffalo of Darlene. So there is a good benefit to that. A Young Guns Canvas, Nick Robertson. For da not Dallas, sorry, for Maple Leafs. Young Guns Canvas, Robertson. We've got a Worldwide of Lungfist for the Rangers. We've got a Young Guns for L.A. of Mikey Anderson. Dazzlers of Crosby for the Penguins. Mr. 1,000 Assists. Young Guns for Dallas of Harley. Game of Jersey, Darnell Nurse for the Oilers. We've got a Worldwide of OV for the Caps. Portraits for Montreal of Evans. We've got a Noah Dobson debut for the Islanders. Canvas of McKinnon for the Avs. Rookie retrospective Suzuki for Montreal. We've got a suit variant of Hurdle. For San Jose. And a Pierre Olivier Joseph. Young Guns for the Penguins. Is there any of the uh, the big games tonight for any of those teams? Pittsburgh, Washington, Detroit, Islanders. Who else is in the mix? Uh, Flyers. Any of those guys playing tonight? I'm going to try to catch the Euler game to see McDavid. I most likely get his 1,000th assist. Oh, one, wow. 1,000 assists tonight. There we go. Wouldn't that be a season? 100 assists. We've got a portrait for the Avalanche of Makar. Young Guns of Ottinger. Might be one to get graded, by the way, right before the playoffs start. So definitely consider that for, for you guys, Dallas. Young Guns Canvas. Another good one. Bowen Byram for the Avalanche. Bowen Byram Young Guns Canvas. Young Guns for Buffalo of Joe Hansen. Game of Jersey of Freddie Anderson for the Maple Leafs. We've got a portrait for the Islanders of Brock Nelson. None of them play? Well, that's no fun. Worldwide of Bishop for Dallas. Well, at least we have the Oiler game. Young Guns for Washington, Alexiev. Dazzlers for Boston of Marshawn. Canvas for Tampa, Braden Point. Young Guns 
Bowen Byram. Avalanche. Bowen Byram. Portrait for Tampa of Vasilevsky. Young Gand of Coglin for Vegas. We've got a predominant of Yossi for the Preds. Young Guns, French variant of Lucas Carlson for the Hawks. Canvas for the Sharks of Kane. Debut date of Frost for Philly. Worldwide for the Blue Jackets of Mers Lickens. Predominant gold of Claude Giroux. Penguins play Boston tomorrow. Oof. The only thing that might be beneficial to some of those games like Boston is they may sit a guy or two. I could see that. Young Guns for the Avalanche of Bowers. Portraits for Washington of Ovechkin. Predominant of Matthews for the Maple Leafs. Canvas for the Wild of Ryan Suter. And a retrospective of Samsonov for the Capitals. There she goes. Twenty one six four. Six. Well, we got an Ottinger. Not too bad. We got a French variant young gun. Not too bad. and a lot of different breaks. That's good. And that transfer came in. So that's good. Again, guys, more than happy to get a couple more of these going. I will also do a fun one just because I want to see who gets a diamond box. If we get 624 filled, I'll give away two black packs in that one. So there you go. Two black packs. You have till seven on that one. That would be sweet. So, anybody want to get uh, that three box retail done? Six forty eight. Let me see. Do I have those ones here? Do I have to grab those? I do not. 
You're not. I'm awesome. Never have those anymore. And 22, 23, there we go. Want to finish it off, guys? Ideally, I'd love to get all these breaks going, but I've always said it's up to you guys. That was the Young Guns Ottinger, yes sir. It's the Young Guns of Ottinger. And I'm gonna throw this out there, guys. Uh, this break just entered into the nine zone, so it's less now than the 10. Uh, it is only $17. It is a clear cut with two extended retails and a spot giveaway. So that one, considering it's only $17, I think has a very good opportunity to get going as well tonight. So I think if we can get one or two more spots in that one, I think that has a shot, outside shot. We need to do a little work, but I think we can get there. And again, guys, two left in the retail break and we can get that one done at least. So that would be at least one more getting done. Uh, as I said, the other one has an outside shot of getting it. It is a nice clear cut a spot giveaway, and two extended retail boxes. Also, I'm going to throw this out there, guys. How many of you guys right now are listening? Because I have an idea for a break, but I need your guys' honest opinions of whether you guys think it would help incentivize you guys to join a break 
or if it's a completely stupid idea and we should never even consider it. So do I have a decent amount of you guys at least who could give me an honest opinion on that? You said we always do value your opinions. But again, what I want to know in all honesty, guys, is will it make you want to join a break more or does it really do nothing for you? That is a very, very big thing of, uh, of this one of whether we continue with it or we don't. So, again, still in early prelim stages, per se, is the idea that I have is, I again, we, there would be a lot of different vari, uh, variants to it, to be clear. And what I mean by that is, let's say, for example, so don't get your hopes up and, like, quote me to the exact. This is more so to give you details to explain how it would work. The way it would work for the most part is I would take a product. Let's say we do a five box artifacts break. I would then random the numbers from just say one to 999. Just randomly, right? Let's say we land at 550 for sake of this conversation. What we would do is since it got random to 550, I would say if we hit any serial number within five or 10 of that number, so 540 to 560, everybody will get a free artifacts break. So we will post basically another, maybe five boxer of artifacts. Again, every product will be different because some are way more expensive than others. But everybody in that artifacts break, you would instantly win a free break. So, the other part of this is it literally would cost you guys nothing extra. This is just a fun little side thing. Again, it can't be way too easy that we're going to hit it every break because clearly we just can't, we would literally go bankrupt with that. But it would be one of those side fun things that, you know, maybe join a five box artifacts break and we got number 530 or 546 of 699 and that whole entire break wins an entire free break. The way I think about this, I don't think there's any downside for you guys. But I want to know if, in your opinions, would it help you want to join that break more? Because that's the biggest thing. If it literally is going to fill the exact same speed, whether we do this or not, then it's not really incentivizing you guys to join it. So I'm asking honestly, do you think it's something that you would look at and go, you know what, for the chance at that, why the heck not? Definitely value, yeah. And the thing is, Mike, every product would be different, right? Like obviously, you know, in Cup, there would not be 999 cards. I think the highest is 299. So it'd be a different number. It also de totally depends on the spread, yeah. Well, again, Rushmore, my logic on that, and I understand your perspective of that, but my logic is it's not, it's nothing extra for you. So even if the spread was two versus 20, it's still free for you at the end of the day if you hit it. So that's the benefit of that. It's not like I'm charging $10 more a spot So, again, and every single one's going to be different. Like, on, on one, for example, for example, for Series 1 or Series 2, you could just change it to any 
you know, Young Guns exclusives get a free box break. Like, you just, every single product could be different. Yeah, it, it's more so, the thing is, Mike, what a lot of people have to realize. <laughs> dating yourself, yeah. I'll talk about that one after, Garwood, that's funny. The thing that people have to realize is like, let's say you do an artifacts 21-22 uh, break, right? Six, five boxes is like 600 bucks retail. The thing is, if I were to do a five box break and we hit it, and everyone gets a free five box break, that like that's a monster loss for that. So it's gotta be fair on both ends, I understand that. And if anyone also wants to know about that free spot thing, and this also goes to show you how things are, are, you can never please everybody. Is back in the day, we used to do um, a free spot in every single group break. So in every break that I did, I would do a free spot to the next break that fills. I will also tell you, we have to stop that because we end up getting so many complaints and people who literally were like threatening to leave us because they were mad when their free spot, just saying a hundred dollar break was a free spot into a $19 break. They thought that's completely unfair. Now the funny thing is just so everybody is well aware of what we did. I had no control of what break went next. It's whatever filled. And that was all I always found comical. It's like they would get mad at me that their spot was devalued per se. I'm like, oh, it's not my problem. Like, it's still a free spot. Oh, and the funny thing is, Dan, it's not even, and I'm being honest here, it's not even the fact of pleasing some people. The amount of times that people would send us the emails of like, I'm super pissed off. I don't like this. You know, it's, it's terrible that I joined a $129 break and I got a free spot and a $15 break. You know, like people were like, if you don't adjust my free spot, I'm going to leave your company. You know, it's like, oh my God. Like it literally was at a point where I was like, you know what? I just going to cancel this because it's just not worth it. Like we had too many people get upset about it. It just literally goes to show you like I, we had too many. But, yep. And that was the thing, Rush. We literally, it was it was free. So, like, this break was, what, 20 bucks or whatever? If the next break that fills is a $200 break, good. The person who got a $20 break just got a $249 spot for free. But the $249 spot would go into the next break. And if that was a $35 break, it is what it is. But, man, the amount of emails we had of people saying they don't want to join our site anymore because of that. I was like, holy jeez. I would think so, Rushmore, but again, that one was one of the biggest ones that we had the most emails on. But mind you, we also gave away in every break, so it makes sense. 21,648, three times, one, two, three. One, two, three. Copy paste, there we go, just make sure I'm turning around. Like again, it's funny, because I would challenge pretty much any other hockey breaker that we absolutely have given away the most product prizing value in our history, I would even argue probably more than double anyone else. And as I said, we've had our fair share of people who are like, I still am not happy about getting this. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like even the overtime packs tonight. 
They sell for like five bucks US a piece. I've given away, I think, 10 of them, or 11 of them, or 12. Like just today alone, that's 60 bucks. And then there's a diamond break in the spot giveaways. Like, all this stuff adds up. So we're, we're always trying to think of new ideas for you guys, though. That's why. It made the $20 breaks feel fast. It made the $20 breaks feel really quickly when they saw Big Break was close. That is true. I will give you that. Here we go, 21,648. We've got the retail three boxer. That was, uh, I remember on some of those. The ones that were the best ones, and I'm sure you might remember this, uh, Dan, is the uh, the fry, or the Saturdays before the Sunday. Doing the monster breaks and then having a free spot going into that. Oh my gosh, people went crazy on the, on the Saturday for that. Young Guns for the Winnipeg Jet of Sandberg. Those are great times. Monster breaks also. I might bring those back again. Canvas for San Jose of Carlson. It's getting harder to be able to come up with a good monster break, like value-wise, but I might bring it back. Debut date for the Rangers of Longfist. Portrait for Tampa Bay of Stamkos. Young Guns for the LA Kings of Fajamal. But overall, you guys kind of like the concept of that fun little game. Carl Strum for the Dallas Stars, Young Guns. Of like every, like the, the it would have a prize per se. Honor Roll for the Blues of Cairo. Canvas for Buffalo of Skinner. Defense for the Devils of Hamilton. Dougie Hamilton. Debut dates for the Blues of Piranovich. We've got a Young Guns canvas, Matt Boldy. I absolutely recommend getting that one done, uh, graded guys, whoever's got Minnesota. Congrats on that one, Boldy Young Guns canvas. Definitely worth grading that one. Young Guns of Carson Mayer for the Blue Jackets. We got a portrait for Florida of Huberto. Dazzlers of Owen Power for Buffalo. Buffalo Sabres. Young Guns for Montreal of Harris. On a roll for Boston of Marchand. Center of Attention of Erickson X for Minnesota. Rookie Retrospective for Vancouver, Pod Colson. Canvas for Carolina of Tara Vinen. Dazzlers for Buffalo of Tage Thompson. Young Guns for the Blue Jackets of Kent Johnson. Dazzlers for Vegas of Marchesso. Defense of Bouchard for the Oilers. The only downside, Rushmore, and a base pack, apparently, is let's be honest, that's way too easy to hit, right? Because like, if we do a five box break, in every basically two breaks, we're going to hit it. So, 
let's be honest, I can't give away a free break on an, on an average of every two, right? That's the issue. Electro of Sorokin for the Islanders. We got a young gun of Rustalainen for the Buffalo Sabres. We got a canvas for Calgary of Lindholm. Yeah, like on the young gun one specifically, that's why it wouldn't work. Valeno young gun for the Red Wings. Now, for example, Rushmore, for example, Dazzlers for the Oilers of Nurse. If we said any exclusive young guns, then it's a little easier. Portrait of the Maple Leafs, Matthews. Like something that could work because that's a little more reasonable. Retrospective of Anderson for LA. Retrospective of Tolvanen for the Preds. Young Guns of Zahorna for Pittsburgh. Actually, another good one, Rushmore, is you pick like three players on the outburst silver. Colton for Tampa Young Guns. Like that would be a better odds, right? You get on average two of those outburst silver per case. Canvas for the Sharks of Logan Couture. You know, so one and on average, you know, whatever the math would be. Ryan Suter, Minnesota Wild Canvas. Like, that would be a better one to do. Debut date of Sharon Govich for the Devils. But the whole point of what I want to do is make it, like, not static. Aiken, Young Guns for Boston. So make it be able to change, you know, like, this week we're after blank and blank. Kyle Connor, portraits for the Jets. You know, next week we're after these guys. Dazzlers for Vegas of Leonard. So that way it's kind of more of a different chase every time. Dazzlers for the Florida Panthers of Spencer Knight. We got a portrait of Jack Hughes for the Devils. Retrospective of Kakanen for Minnesota. Like the other thing is Rush. Young Guns of Davies for the Preds. Like when you do something like Artifacts, Synergy, Credentials that has numbered stuff, every break could win on that one, right? There is no odds on that per se. Retrospective for the Hawks of Hagel. Jersey variant. Like I know somebody mathematically I'm sure could figure odds, but like if the number was 550... Technically, we could hit that in every single break of artifacts. Debut date of Lafreniere for the Rangers. So that's one reason I like that one, because it literally could get hit on every break. We got a portrait of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. And we've got base. So something like that would be fun, right? You do like a five box break of artifacts. You do, you know, if you're within 20 of the number 450, you know, everyone gets a free break. Again, I'll have to look at the exact proper way we can do it, but that could be a very fun one. Yeah, I like the idea. I'm just trying to really hammer it out in my head of how to do it on, like the one I thought would be an easy one rush to give you a perfect example, right? And I don't mean easy as in hitting it, but I just mean easy as in like to understand. Portraits for Buffalo of Eichel is like we do a Metal Universe break if we hit a Emerald Auto PMG. You guys win. New Jersey Pink Dazzlers of Blackwood. So it's like and just you know the second I hit it, it's good. Canvas of Seth Jones for the Jackets. You know, I think it'd bring a lot more excitement to the break. Young Guns Nick Robertson for the Leafs. Oh, I'm talking everyone rush. The entire break wins a free five box break. 
So let's say we do a five box metal break. Portraits for the Capitals of Carlson. I'm talking like every single person in that break would get a free five box metal break. Young Guns of Ingram for the Preds. Yeah, not just one. You guys would literally get another five boxes for free. Young Guns Ottinger for Dallas. Yeah, sorry if I wasn't clear on that. Yeah, every single person would get a free break. It'd be a brand new five box metal break for free for everybody. Canvas of Duchesne for the Preds. So theoretically, yes, everybody in that break would be cheering for the exact same thing. Portraits of Bergeron for Boston. And once again, whoever has Dallas, I recommend getting the Ottinger done. Game jersey of Vasilevsky for Tampa. Game jersey. Base. Dazzlers for Vancouver of Patterson. Young Guns for the Blue Jackets of Foodie. So sorry that Rushmore. That's why I was saying Canvas of Marshawn for Boston that it wouldn't be uh, I couldn't just eat that all the time. Young Guns for Vegas of Coglin. Of when we're talking about the young guns, that's why I said it that way. Of like, because I would literally be giving away an entire break very often. <laughs> Portrait for Vancouver of Pedersen. We've got a Young Guns, Joseph Wall for the Maple Leafs. Maybe a good one to get graded, you never know. If he makes a playoff appearance and drags the team fur further. Schwartz for the Blues, Canvas. And... All right, what, what about this one, Rushmore? And of course, guys, I would like everyone else's opinion. What if we did like a Monday night special? Again, random, right? But I pick a product. Let's say it's credentials. And I say if you hit a numbered card within 30 of the number that we pick or whatever it is, that you would get a Bedard Young Gun. So it would be a direct, you buy a box, you get a shot, if you get it, you get a big hit. If you don't, you don't. No, so Jawa, the idea I have is it would literally be a brand new break for every single person. If you take 32 spots, well, that's stupid, but let's say you take 10 spots. You would get 10 spots in the next free one. I would just be doing it exactly like I would have done every other break. It's just this one's free for you. So if you take three spots, good on you. You get a better position on the next break. And we will do a different random. So it would be a different team. So obviously the ones who have good teams might be a little upset about that. But the people who have bad teams might love it. And even further, Jawa, the idea I have is I would treat it the exact same. So let's say I do a Metal Universe break and it's a Emerald PMG Auto. If you guys get another Emerald PMG Auto in the free break, it would give you another free break. It literally just keeps going and snowballing. So we would do like a week of that, right? Or two weeks of that specific one. So if we hit zero, tough luck. If we hit 17 of them, there you go. So there would be like no end to this. It's not like, oh, you guys, like again, there's benefit to you guys, there's benefit to us. But the other idea I had would be an individual prize where like I would put up a big item. And obviously I'm just doing the most easiest to understand right now, which would be a Bedard Young Gun because everyone would want one. Is I would get a Bedard Young Gun and be like, when we open a credentials box, again, hypothetically, you pick the number. 
Okay, your number is 450. If you hit within 20 of that, you get the Bedard. And then next person goes up, they can do the exact same thing. Do you guys like that idea too? And again, I'm not I'm not trying to be uh, completely analytical on the exact numbers. I am just giving you guys examples to be clear. Every box, every product, everything would be different. It's more of a just is that a fun understand or game to play? Yeah, you know what, Rush? I don't disagree with you on that. The only thing is every product is very different. Like, for example, in credentials and synergy and artifacts, there's a ton of numbered stuff. So it kind of makes sense to go there. Whereas in Series 1, Series 2, um, I'm trying to think on the shelf. I'm just looking at the shelf. Like MVP, OPG, there's not a lot of numbered stuff. So it makes sense going to unique different things. Again, I haven't really put a thought, like in-depth thought on what it would be. The whole point is that maybe we would do like two every week or two, right? So like Metal Universe and then Series 1. So we would roll those for two weeks. And then in two weeks, we'd have two new fresh ones. Like SBA and... You know, SBX. So every time it would be a one or two week lifespan and they would rotate. Like Metal, as I said, the idea I had for Metal is literally doing a PMG Emerald Auto. So if we do a three box break and you hit it, congrats. There's, we're doing a free break for you. And if, again, if we fill, to say 20 of those in two weeks and seven of them have emeralds and congrats some of you guys seven of you guys won the if none of them have it none of you guys won it's but again to be completely clear there'll be no additional cost it's the exact same pricing that i would post for a three box break either way it's more of a would it make it more fun for you guys would they fill more often and is it do you guys like the concept of it and Rush, yeah, I have no problems doing that either. It's just, on things like Metal, it makes it a little tougher because what do you do? Do you name five PMGs, maybe, of players? Like, I'm fine with that. We just randomly come up with five player names on PMGs, and it could be any PMG. I'm cool with that. That don't bother me. So, all of them are good ideas. And obviously we can hammer it out as uh, time goes on, so I'm not really worried about that. But it's more so whether you guys think it would uh, A, incentivize you, and then B, be fun. And also, to be honest, Rush, the biggest thing for us is I want to make this very simplistic for everyone to understand. Because that's a very key thing. There's the amount of times that when we do fun promos or whatever, people are like, so how do I get this? And it's like, well, we wrote it down. And they're like, yeah, but I don't understand it. Okay, that's fair. So we have to make sure this is just very easy for everyone to understand. Like, I, that's where yours would come in hand, right? If we open up an outburst of Nyes, Askarov, Hughes, this guy, and this guy, you guys get a free break. It's that simple. Like, there's no, you know, there's no in between on that one. It's just, there you go. Instant win. Overall, it seems like you guys, for the most part, enjoy it, so. So, ladies and gentlemen, there will be more breaks up for Sunday. So obviously, I hope you guys all have a phenomenal rest of the weekend. 
Hopefully it's better weather where everyone is than here because it's been kind of crappy weather for the last few days. But uh, with that being said, have a great evening, guys, and a great rest of the weekend. And we will see you guys Sunday, most likely 7.15 p.m. Eastern. Have a good one, everyone. Keep well.